So you want to bake out your shader. You have everything set up the way you wish. Now you want to export it to another software. So how do you do this? Well, we have two methods. This In this video, we're going to go over the normal way of baking things out. Let's go down to the bottom of the shader section and you will find the bake tab. Uh, we will leave it on the bake bake tab where we actually bake out as the uh, nice tooltip says the PBR textures. Uh, there is splat map, but we will be going over that in a different video. First things first, you need to uh, choose an output path. Go to wherever you want. I'm going to accept this folder I've already set up. Don't hack me. Uh, then I will set a image prefix. So in each uh, PBR texture, this word will be put in front of it. I'm going to leave my resolution. So each each image will be set to this resolution 4K. But I'm going to leave mine at so. Uh, now UV map source source. You have the option between the object data or an attribute data. Uh, an object source means it will come from the object itself, which means it's an actual UV map added over here, or you could add one here. Because this terrain here is specifically made through true terrain, and since true terrain uses geometry nodes and creates its own plane and geometry all within geometry nodes, not from within edit mode or any other thing, you must use the attribute tab. Uh, if you do not, there is no way to get an UV map like the way you're probably used to. But we have set up an attribute that will work perfectly and everything is set up wonderfully with that UV attribute. Already pre-filled, you don't really need to do anything else. If you're if there's another UV map attribute that you want to use uh, based upon your own uh, creation through geometry nodes, just click here and you can try to find it or start typing and it will look for it. UVs. All right, we won't, will not be going over UDIMs in this video, maybe another one. And on to advanced settings. And here you can see all of the PBR textures that are available for you to bake out. You have ambient occlusion, color, roughness, specular, normal, displacement. And if you don't want any of these, you can simply click them. Now note all five of the ones that are currently selected are, are simply just taking the texture data uh, that is inputted into cycles and, and then combined in the various ways that you have set up and just effectively through an emission pass, baking out that emission pass. It's not really doing much more than that. AO, on the other hand, ambient inclusion is actually calculating ambient inclusion and will take longer. So just be warned of that. You can set your margin and whether or not you want to clear the current uh, images. That's really uh, more. I just set that up more for your ease of access. Uh, you can learn more about that through Blender Baking on their website or through our docs. We'll have a link there as well. And those are the settings. So let's go ahead and hit bake and keep talking. So you notice a couple of things that tells you which pass, which PBR texture we are currently baking. This one is color. The name that it will be saved as grassland color, roughness, specular, normal displacement, as well as the current time taken per um, per texture. Once it is um, once these are have baked out, you, you can actually click on these little icons and it will pop up a nice preview of it. You can zoom in or do whatever else you want, or if you're just bored. And as they populate, they will, um, they will, they will, as they bake out, they will populate. And if you try to click on the ones that don't do anything, there's nothing that you can do. Moving on to the last displacement, last one of displacement. Oh, oh, I guess I, I did click it. My bad. I clicked it and it just delayed it. That's hilarious. That's interesting. Uh, one thing to note is that uh, color roughness specular and an ambient inclusion. If you do click it, uh, it will, those will all be JPEGs. You can see here, JPEG, 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 but displacement is going to be a TIFF file, uh, 30, 16 bit, if I remember correctly, as well as the normal will be, uh, I believe a 16 bit for the sake of best practices. Um, and not make, making sure there's no uh, the, the little stepping that you typically can get with 8-bit. Um, and then if you notice that once it was finished, it opened it up so that you may go ahead and have access to it if you want to take off to the side or copy the, the path or whatever and do um, more with it that is available to you to do.
Yep. And that is the bake section. Happy baking. Ha <laughs> ha.